Hi everyone and welcome to Ivanti Security Controls. In this video, I'm going to provide you with several tips on using the REST API Help. So, let's get started. The REST API Help is available from the Ivanti product documentation webpage. The welcome topic shows all of the functional areas that can be controlled with the REST API. This topic also contains some basic information about the valid request formats and methods. For detailed information about how to configure your environment to use the REST API, see the Requirements Help Topic. Most of the requirements are pretty basic. If you are executing REST API commands from a remote machine, which most people do, you must configure a secure, trusted connection to the council by importing the council certificate to the remote machine. You can do this manually, or you can use a custom PowerShell setup script that's provided by Ivanti that will automatically perform these steps for you. The majority of your time will be spent working with one of the functional areas in the REST API. Each area is described in detail by a separate help topic. For this demonstration, let's pick the first topic, which is Agents. Each topic is laid out using the exact same format. The base URL identifies the unique URL you must use when submitting a request. The Supported Requests table shows the different request methods that are supported for the URL. For the Agents function, the Delete, Get, and Put methods are supported. Input parameters can be used on many of the requests. Some of the parameters are coded directly on the URL, and some are coded in the body of the request. For example, a standard Agent Get request supports the URL parameters shown here. Likewise, the delete and put requests support the body parameters shown here. A simple example is always provided within each topic. The example will show the request URL and a sample response. In addition, several other request examples are also provided to give you a fuller understanding of how to submit all of the available request types. For example, here we show how to use the available URL parameters to find the first five listening agents. And this example shows how to use a body parameter when assigning a different policy to an existing agent. Finally, the Output Models section provides detailed information about each of the parameters you will see in the request output. For example, if you submit an agent status request, the Agent Status table will provide detailed information about the parameters that are returned in the output. And that concludes this video. Be sure to view the related REST API video where I build on what we've learned here by demonstrating the use of some actual agent requests. Thanks for watching.